Hey guys, it's Chris Bino Craftsman. Um, I'm here on the job site, something you've never seen before, but I'm here working at a job and we're going to build a platform to put a, a unit on. It's basically going to be a glorified deck, um, kind of a, a small version of a deck for the units to set on. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You're going to have to excuse the audio because obviously I'm out here in the field, it's a little harder, but this is what I built about eight years ago. You see the age has really worn it, made it look a little weathered. We've got two units sitting on there. Well, well, one for now. This will be for a future unit, but I'm going to be building the same thing right over here. Okay, so if you're an HVAC technician, you might be wondering yourself, are these heat pumps or ACs? They are conditionings, so there's no real reason to put them up super high out of snow. Obviously, they're not going to run in the winter time, at least not here. You know, sometimes air conditionings do run in the winter time, um, but those are very special applications. In this case, I don't have that to worry about. So they're literally just going to sit on a pad on top of this pad. All right, man, as you can see, they, this is grass, but to my, unbeknownst to me, there is underlayment underneath this whole thing. So it's really tough to go. I actually have cut it with my razor blade, as you can tell. I'm trying to get this. I've got a root that I'm trying to avoid there, but it's not going too well. So I think what I'm going to do is attach the other two by six to that one and then do my back bracing and level that up and then just fill in underneath this because this is not got to handle a whole lot of weight these units don't weigh a whole lot so it's not going to handle somebody stepping on it so they don't have to be built the way you would build the deck All right, so before I get too much further along in this project, I'm gonna to need to uh, describe what I've done so far. So um, off camera, it took me a while to get this thing level and now everything's level. I do need to put some backfill of some stuff in there, but everything's square. And yes, they're just sitting on the ground. Uh, it's not gonna really be a big problem. It is pressure treated for the length that this is gonna be here versus your lifespan of a unit. They're both going to probably fail within the same amount of time, so not too concerned about that either. But I'm going to be filling the center in with deck boards. And you can see I've got my pads for the units. We're mimicking what we've got right here. So you can see I've got the deck boards in the center to fill up the space, and then the two pads are screwed to the deck that we're making. So I've put in a couple bracing 2x4s on the back as well. Uh, after putting in my metal ones, I noticed that the bottom one still did a little bit of buckling, so those are forcing it straight. There's four of them there. Everything's square now. We also got two by four set in there. Now, the dimension of this is 36 inches square, so when I set the pad on it, it'll be nice and flush along the edge all the way around. Okay, just like that, it's all done. Put all the braces on it, all the deck boards, we can put our pads and our units on there. 
I hope you enjoyed this. I know it wasn't really a shop video and it wasn't really necessarily a bid build video. It was just to uh, show you what I do sometimes out in the field. Sometimes woodworking comes very much in handy. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time back in the workshop.